bro i wake up and the tip of my is burning is burning mm. and then i look at it there's something coming out of it it's pus bro I ah no what uh, ouch i just woke up i had drunk like two three days ago raw i burnt myself bro i burnt myself what the f was i doing what the f and welcome to my channel. My name is Shariel. If you're new and if you're turning, thank you for coming back. This is part two of Sex is Not Casual. And I have my four last points of why it's not after my intro. I'm good on the intro. Hi, this is. Wait, hold on. Oh, she a woman of faith. Faith, fashion, and what else? Faith, fashion, and frugality. That's comp. Hold on. Mother, that's a big three right there. That's so, tough. the fifth reason like why this is not casual is because of STDs and ST. That is probably the most realest shit that anybody could really say. Like, it don't, like, STDs, bro. The eyes. One thing I see all over social media and just people in general like to brag, like to talk about all the people they're sleeping with, all the thing things they're doing, all these positions, but nobody's talking about their clinical results. Yeah, nobody, nobody talks about the pH balance. The pH balance don't hit Instagram, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't hit IG. Like, I just feel, I just wish, like, if you was going to brag about the good of a situation, give show that same energy to the bad. You feel me? That's all I ask. Just show us, keep the same energy, bruh. Nobody's talking about what goes on when they're peeing, how it burns. Nobody's talking about Talk to them. warts. These are things people aren't talking about, and they're very real. And this is making it a fantasy of the act but not showing what goes down when you don't protect yourself bro i wake up and the tip of my is burning is burning mm. and then i look at it there's something coming out of it it's pus bro I ah no what uh, ouch i just woke up i had drunk like two three days ago raw I burnt myself, bro. I burnt myself. What the f was I doing? What the f ah! what was I thinking? I don't know. I just woke up. I don't even remember, bro. I'm completely celibate after this. I'm. Ah. I mean, I hope. I mean, I guess, bro. I don't want to wait till. I don't want to wait till my lungs get older, bro. I don't want to wait until something bad happens to me to learn, bro. I'm learning from you, my brother. I'm learning from you. I'm going to follow you. We going and anytime I have any horny thoughts, I'm going to call you like, "Yo, your shit still burn? Yeah, my shit fucked up." Good good talk, man. I appreciate that, man. Good talk, man. Mhm 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 I appreciate that. I need some motherfuckers who got some STDs on in my phone, bro. So when I see a shorty, right, and I'm out with the homies, right, and there's a group of girls and that girl, she choose me. She like, "Yeah, I like him. I want him." Wait, like, hold on. Let me just make a quick call real quick. Hold on. Let me call the homies real quick. Me... Yo, uh, yo, send me, send me a picture of the STT. I'm gonna have the STD results, their STD results as my screensaver. I'm gonna take their name out. I'm gonna chlamydia, check. Gonorrhea, check. Uh, you know, check. Ch I don't even know what the fuck other H uh, HIV, I guess, the STD. I'm, I'm good, bro. Myself. That's the first time I ever caught something. But hopefully it's nothing crazy. So that way, that way, I gotta take this as a lesson and never do it again. Ever, ever. Ah, this is what happens in a degenerate society. STDs all around. People don't care. People are not gonna protect themselves. They're not on BC. Shout out to him for putting that on the, on the media though. He a real ass nigga for that though, no cap. He is a real ass nigga, bro. They could not get that. They could not pry that video from my phone, nigga. That's my, that might be a video I make to keep in my phone just to, to have a lesson. They could not have pried that shit 
out of me. And they're just out here doing their thing. So obviously in 2020, the numbers dropped for different STDs and STIs, but now that people are back outside, they're skyrocketing. Well, turning now to an important medical headline, health officials just announced the concerning rise of STIs across the country, and experts say the rates right. show no sign of slowing down. So let's bring in Dr. Darian again and, and break this down for us. What, what do we need to know about this public health issue? Uh, in the past couple of days to months, we've seen increases specifically related before and after the pandemic. Recently, the CDC released reports that rates of chlamydia, syphilis, I forgot about that. gonorrhea, and syphilis have accelerated in terms of the amounts of positive tests that we're finding and it's been the highest that we've seen in over 20 years nobody's talking about who gave them something that they have to live with for the rest of their life and the thing about it you don't even have to be somebody who sleeps around you could be with one person, one person. and get it from them because one. they've slept with somebody else and that's the dangerous part so my ex gave me an STD two years ago, and I feel like a lot of people's first reactions are like, ew, that's disgusting. And it is. And it is. And it is. Like, why are you putting this on the internet, blah dee blah but at the same time, I feel like people should be talking about it more, that way people can learn from it and educate nice. themselves and stuff. Um, because, right, I don't know, he cheated, obviously, and, you know, that's literally how I found out when um, I, the doctor called me and she was like, oh, yeah, you have it. And I was like, oh, okay. So then, like, you know, that's how I knew. But it sucks because a lot of these men will basically sleep around with literally whoever, and then it comes back to you. Women are having their pH balance off. P women. Niggas don't want to talk about the pH being off, bro. I'm literally... Okay, never mind are having UTIs and all these different things because of people we're sleeping with. Your, you know what down there has to be protected. This has to stop. People need to wake up and realize your body is a vessel. It should be protected. It is sacred. Nobody talks about the medication they have in their bathroom because they decided to sleep with somebody because they just wanted to. And this is not with judgment. I just want people to realize the severity of what can happen to your body especially if it's undetected a lot of people don't get tested and when these things are untreated you can affect being able to get pregnant you can get cancer you can have crazy things happen to your bro i'm want to throw up like it's making my body like cringe your body because you cringe. are not keeping up with yourself and you're not protecting yourself with contraception getting tested, get making sure the other person is doing what they need to do, but also being abstinent. I don't know what's so hard about that, but- a Shut the fuck up. Now you being disingenuous. What's so hard about being celibate or abstinent? Nigga, that's very hard, bro. It's very hard. It's very hard, okay? It's very hard. It is very hard. All right, let's not just sit up here and make it seem like shit is sweet, bro. Especially when you have the options and the capability of doing certain things and you have to continuously deny yourself Even though people have urges and shit like that. Like it's not easy But it's a necessary, you know, it's a necessary thing Of course, we're in a society where right is wrong and wrong is right. Nobody wants to get married Nobody wants to wear protection. So everybody's out here spreading stuff to each other And I was looking at this map of HIV, we'll call it that and America is almost number one. I consider us number one because this particular chart that I- Damn. Nah, South Africa, bruh. You don't even want to touch nothing in South Africa, bruh. You cooked in South Africa. You don't even want to touch nothing over there, bruh. It's done for. South Africa, uh, yeah, America, it's old America. America and then Alaska, which is pretty much America. Russia is cooked. India's, I mean, all they do, I feel like China, I would be surprised China not in here in this conversation. Is China really be going crazy? But anyway. I saw South Africa was high up there in other countries. But the thing is, the technology, the medical advancements that we have in this country and access to them is beyond what these other countries have. So for us to have this access and this technology and our numbers still to be this high, Ignorance. that's a big problem. And that's why it's not casual. There's nothing casual about having to take meds. There's nothing casual about burning. There's nothing casual. And that's another sad part is giving it to your baby that comes out of you after. That's another thing I- Niggas is actually cooked, bro. 
Niggas is actually cooked, bro. Niggas is cooked. I learned when I was researching this stuff, and it's like all from us wanting to have our body, our choice, just being out here. And now you're just vulnerable to this type of stuff, which could have totally been avoided. And this is not judgment to people who have these type of things. This is just real life. And I'm just seeing this act be celebrated and nobody's talking about the L's they're taking because of what they're doing. And a lot of people, like I said, don't even know they have it because they're asymptomatic. That's another scary part. And that's another reason why you should be choosy and really you shouldn't be doing anything unless you are married. And I don't care if I sound like a crazy Christian, but God's way is the best way. What Hashtag crazy Christian, bro. Hashtag crazy Christian. I'm gonna get a shirt that say crazy Christian. I'm a crazy Christian, you feel me? Whether you wanna admit it or not, and yes, I know people cheat in marriage, but if you're living, the way you're supposed to, you're abiding by what God wants, you're not gonna cheat on your spouse and you're not gonna catch anything. See, I need people like her in my circle, bro. I need I need to be able to call her and be like, yo, like, booty woo, booty woo, and she could just be like, yo, Jeremiah 22, eight, you know what I mean? And I just slip to that real quick. I'm, I'm, you feel me? That's what I need. And I've seen it in real life, so I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> so the sixth reason why this is not casual is because of the emotional toll that this act takes on men and women. We're in a new era of feminism to where men are more feminine and women are more masculine. The tables have turned. And I'm seeing it to where women are trying to portray that they're not affected by who they sleep with and what that person or people do when they're not with them. Okay, so I saw my sneaky link in person, like in, in public. And I had been with my sneaky link the entire week and his boys had called him was like, get a haircut, blah, blah, blah. So like, we gonna go, we gonna go out on Saturday. So I knew when I left on Friday, I was gonna see him cause like he gonna be with his boys. So anyway, I go downtown with my sisters on 6th street and I happen to glance and he there. And immediately I go the other way. I go the other way cause I'm like, oh my God. But also I know that you only down here cause you just got a haircut and you look for the but I can't even be mad because I'm in a skims dress down on the same damn street looking for the same So I couldn't even be mad. But at the same time, who this for? Who this for? <laughs> you better. Never mind. Never mind. And it's just a total lie. A lot of women that I see that sleep around, it's, there's usually a root to it. Something traumatic happened to them when they were younger or they're searching for something or they're trying to prove a point or rebel against their family or just religion, Christianity in general. And the thing is, when you sleep with so many people, whether people want to realize it or not, it takes a piece out of you every single time. I truly believe when you have intercourse with somebody, it's on every level. It's emotional, it's physical, it's spiritual, which is one of the biggest ones that people don't realize. And it's also mental. And these images of that person will never get out of your head. These exchanges you've had, you can never erase for good or for bad. And just you have that connection to them now to where nobody wants to admit if, if you see somebody in public that you slept with, your heart might drop. You're like, oh. I'm hurt. I'm cooked. I'm cooked, bro. I'm immediately cooked. Like... I'm cooked. I'm cooked. You know, it takes a long time for me to get over that shit. You feel me? Even if I don't want to, it's that's how I know it's real. Cause like, even if I don't want to be with you, I still feel away. Cause like, what is you doing though? Type shit. But like, I have no business. I have no business having laid with you to begin with. You feel me? So you just gotta take it to the chin. You feel me? When you do irresponsible shit and you wanna be grown and and you wanna go everything that the light touches is ours what about outside with the light touches we don't go out there bruh i feel like that was god personally like every we, i gave you 40 acres and a mule bruh 40 acres or everything the light touches you can do all these non-sins that you can do you good money bruh what about these sins over here what about what about this tree what about these sins we don't go out we don't go outside the pry land 
We don't do that. You feel me? And you know, we really all like, that's why I really mess with Simba because we all Simba at the end of the day. We all Simba. You feel me? But eventually, you're going to come back home. Eventually. Right? And it's going to be messed up because you were disobedient, because you didn't listen, because you was hard headed. You can come back. It's just not going to be the same, bro. Like, you know, it's not going to be the same. Like, people going to be affected. You know, it's not going to be the same as if you were just obedient from the jump, right? You ended up causing your father to die. But eventually, you're going to get to your rightful place. You're going to get to your rightful place. You know? Because you're now spiritually tied to them. I know people would be like, uh, it's not that deep. It is that deep. And when you give yourself, you give your body, men and women, to so many people, you can become emotionally wrecked. Your mind's all over the place. You're wayward. You're double-minded, which means you're, you're trying to do this and you're trying to do that. You just can't. You have no clarity. And especially if you're struggling with the addiction of it, you're trying to fight all these emotions and feelings with doing it more and doing it again to get your mind off of it but you're just creating the same cycle and the scary thing is when you actually sleep with somebody that you do care about that you are hoping that will be exclusively with you it now clouds your judgment about their true character because you've already crossed i ain't gonna lie she's wild right now She's absolutely cooking, bruh. She's dropping, she's dropping 50 right now, nigga. That is so facts, bro. Oh my gosh, she's, that's facts. Anytime I got with a girl, I didn't, like, anytime, and it'll, it'll be quick. It'll usually be quick, but, like, anytime I got with a girl, like, her character and the things, like, I always saw her from, I'm like, bruh, she, She's doing. That line. A lot of girls and a lot of guys are with people that are not good people or they have traits that are terrible that they ignore because they're sleeping with them. You'll see a guy who's dealing with a girl that's psychotic or with an attitude or anger problem and be like, bro, why are you with her? Cause she's laying it down on him. So he's not thinking her temper is that big of a deal. We can move. Move forward, we can have a kid and now you have a crazy BM. You have a crazy baby mother. It's the same thing with women. Women are sleeping with men. Men that are fishy, liars, sneaky, um, disrespectful. And they stay with them because their their judgment is clouded or someone who's lazy, someone who's not of their word, but you dismiss it because you're sleeping with them. So it's not a big deal. But if you take sleeping with them away, you'll see them for who they truly are because you no longer have that band-aid, that mask of intercourse blocking you from seeing who they really are. Cause, because most of the time you would leave. You're like, I'm not putting up with this. Yeah, but you're you are putting up with it because you're sleeping with that. Sex out. is powerful. Intercourse is powerful. Out, it changes your out. whole entire makeup. Everything, your whole brain is jacked up when you start doing stuff like that. And that's what I'm saying, the emotional toll it takes because now you're with this person you're not supposed to be with and you're getting treatment and getting talked to a certain way the way you shouldn't be, but you're accepting it. So now it's emotionally bringing you down. It's emotionally changing what you accept because you want to keep sleeping with them and now your whole view of relationships is totally off it's honestly toxic and you're settling and another emotional toll like i said even if you're not sleeping around with a bunch of people to where it's making you chaotic inwardly it's just dealing with somebody that you're not really with in a situation ship i talked about this a little bit with um the drama aspect but when you're giving yourself to somebody, especially as a woman, and you're not getting that commitment from them, that one-on-one -on -one exclusivity, that does affect your self-esteem. You're like, I'm doing this and that for him, and he's not making it official. What's going on? What's wrong with me? Then you start seeing the other girls he deals with, and then you're comparing yourself to her. Then you're trying to get lip fillers to get your lips big like her, or you're trying to change your body to look like her body, change your hair color to be more like her and the other girls he's with. Emotionally all over the place because you're trying to compete for somebody that you're just laying with 
who isn't exclusive with you when you shouldn't be sleeping with them in the first place. And now you say all men cheat, all men don't commit, all men are this, all men are that, but you were the one willing to give it up so easy. Mm. And my seventh point for why this is not casual, because it affects relationships and commitment. I've seen this time and time again, and this is all across the board, all races, when you are with somebody and you guys are doing it you guys been together for years and you move in together the man is going to drag his feet when it comes to marrying you i know marriage is not everybody's goal so you don't need to put it in my comments i get it some of you guys don't want it but for the women that want marriage if you are giving the cookie up if you're moving in if you're playing wifey cooking washing his dirty underwear cleaning up doing all that you're his emergency contact it's not going to be an emergency for him to buy that ring i'm going to tell you right now it makes men drag their feet it makes them second guess marriage should do we even need to do this it doesn't really matter we're already together etc etc fine baby gina your little plan worked what are you talking about martin you plotted and you schemed and clank clank gina i will marry you Damn. I mean, are you happy now? Damn, that was crazy, Martin. I don't really remember these episodes like that, man. I just remember the funny ones, bro. But this one was crazy. He fried her shit. That was beautiful. That was the proposal I've been dreaming about all my life. He fried now, if you'll excuse me, I got a plane to catch. Come on. Now, let's talk about men those of you that like to sleep around a lot of men when they sleep with a lot of women it makes it harder for them to commit to one woman most of the time sometimes it's a phase you know some men are in competition with their other friends seeing who can get the most girls that's younger like teenage in college days but when you're a man that's used to variety you with Brittany on Wednesday then you're with Sarah on Saturday then on Monday you're back with Megan Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then you're with Sarah on Saturday. Then on Monday, you're back with Megan. All right, let me chill. Let me not say nothing crazy. It's nothing but love, bro. You know, I was in my feelings, you know, and I and sometimes when you in your feelings, you know, sometimes it's good to just step back. Like, you know what? Let me get away from everybody before I say and do shit I regret. Yo, I love everybody. I just need a minute. I'm in my feelings. I need... A minute don't talk to me don't look at me don't say shit to me i need a minute with me and god i just need me and god to just lock in all right because i know what i do with god it, it ain't you know how job was talking crazy remember Job? how job was talking crazy to god god ain't never really trip because he understands god understands but humans they don't understand so if i say some crazy to you it ain't like three days from now that you just going kumbaya, like, and just forget about it. No, you might, I might affect the relationship and whatever. So, don't talk, just get away from me for a week or two weeks. Let me just, let me just, ha, ha. let me just, uh, you feel me? Let me get right, because sometimes I'll be in my feelings, bro. Sometimes I'll be in my feelings. And, you know, it's okay, man. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. Let's just move on, make mistakes, and let's not make the same ones over. Like, you know, there's the mistakes is gonna happen. Like, don't trip and don't beat yourself up over the mistakes. Just learn the lesson, learn from the mistakes, and get the fuck on, bruh. And don't do that shit again. Now, if you start doing the same mistake over and over again, now that's a choice. Now it's like, okay, now you, you know, you choosing this lifestyle. Let's not, I'm not into that. I made a mistake. Bro, I promise you, I promise you, I'm not making that mistake over again. I'm just, I'm just going to give it a buck with you. Like, I'm not making that mistake over again. So, you know, um, you know, everything going to be all right, man. God is good. And just, yo, you know, it's like sometimes when you think something didn't work out, if you keep working and you keep seeking God, it's God's way of re really working out. You know, like it, it's kind of like it may be looking like it's going like this or like this or like this, 
But if you keep working, right, you keep God first, right? Um, what does it say? Um, something, something, God, I will give you the desire, uh, something, right? So just keep doing good, right? Two years, three years, four years later, we don't know what's going to happen, right? But you have to be in position to capitalize on certain situations where God can't give it to you, you know? Two, three years from now, you know, where I'm at, where, where I'm at, you know, mentally, physically, financially, you know, where I'm at in terms of my character and my spirit and maturity and, you know, my connections or whatever, whatever, you know, <clears throat> we don't know how things are going to look two years from now. I didn't know how things were going to look two years ago, right? But if I would have known how things are going to look today, two years ago, I could have prepared for it. So we have to prepare like two years from today, something about that, some uh, opportunity or something about to happen. And you need to be ready for it. You need to be ready.